The National Green Tribunal's order restricting the issuance of occupation certificates on real estate projects around Noida's eco-sensitive Okla Bird Sanctuary had put the Noida market in a freeze for almost two years. Only recently, the Environment Ministry had cleared a notification, redrawing and reducing the eco-sensitive zone around the sanctuary, releasing some 50 real estate projects. The NGD issue may have been settled, but uncertainty still persists. We received this question from a viewer, Prave Kumar Singh. He's a home buyer in Noida. Let's see what he has to say. He writes, I booked a 2 BHK in September 2013 in Noida, sector 74. I was promised possession by April 2014 in my allotment letter. Possession payment uh, demand notice was received by me, by me in July 2015. The builder is citing a 24% interest per annum as penalty if I don't pay my dues uh, to receive possession. The builder does not have an OC till now. The builder is claiming that he has applied for an OC and on that basis he is asking for the final payment. Um, banks are still funding the project and he, the builder cites that the delay is due to the NGT issue. Uh, this buyer wants to know what should I do? Should I defer payment till uh, the builder receives the OC? Uh, will I be able to register my property uh, without an OC if I do go ahead and make the final payment? So I'm going to take up these questions uh, with Munish Upadhyay, partner SNG and partners, advocates and solicitors, and also with me, Rohit Raj Modi, Vice President, Credai and Director, Ashiana Homes. Munish and Rohit, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, Rohit, coming to you first. Is this what the buyer is facing in Noida today, that even projects which are so deficient that they can't even procure an occupation certificate, uh, so even after the NGT issue is settled, uh, these these builders are unable to get an OC and which is why these buyers are stuck. Well, uh, Vasudha, you see, it's a, it's a procedural issue. Uh, it's not as simple as that. Uh, once we apply for OC, uh, it has a six to nine month kind of a time cycle in which the permission is granted because it's not a single certificate of OC. Along with that, there are several no-objection certificates which a project requires to obtain, so, uh, like from airport authority, from uh, uh, state pollution control board, from the fire authority, from state utility uh, uh, board, and so on and so forth. And the procedure followed is that uh, you have to first apply for OC. Once you've applied for OC, then you subsequently apply for all these NOCs. Once you get these NOCs, you submit these NOCs with the Noida Authority and subsequently an OC is granted. So even in the best of the times and best of the practices, uh, the time that is taken practically on ground is anything between six to nine months time. To the best of our information, 13 to 15 projects have already been given OC. These are the projects which were had already completed this formality before the ban from NGT came in effect. Uh, so as soon as the ban was lifted, these projects were granted the OC. Wherein there are projects which uh, have applied for OC soon after the ban has been lifted. And uh, uh, in light of that, uh, they will take six to nine months before they obtain the OC. Uh, Munish, in the case of this viewer, Prave Kumar, uh, his builder has applied for an OC, but we don't know when that's coming in. Uh, so until then, should he make the final installment because he's being pressurized uh, to make the final payment, otherwise he'll have to pay a penalty for late payments. What should he do? See, in my view, strictly as per legal parlance, till the time OC is granted by the Noda authority to the builder, the builder technically cannot give the possession of the flat to Mr. Singh. And uh, what is the timeline in which the OC can be granted can be found out by Mr. Singh from, not, from Noida authority. At which stage the OC is tomorrow, today, uh, if he makes a payment to the builder. And tomorrow this OC takes maybe uh, more than a year, more than one and a half year. Then his payment is stuck and the flat will not be delivered to him. Even a registry cannot be done till the time occupation certificate and completion certificate both are in place. So I agree with uh, what uh, Mr. Modi is saying, but I disagree with the, the process and the timelines which are mentioned by him. If the builder is proactive, it can be granted within three to six months. 
Okay. Rohit, the other confusion that uh, buyers are facing is over who is liable to pay the penalty. There are many projects which were delayed even before the NG NGT issue erupted in April 2013. And now when buyers demand uh, from the builder that he pay the delay penalty, these developers have a clear alibi that the NGT issue uh, came up and we are invoking the force majeure clause. clause. So who pays the penalty now for the delays? Look, it, uh, to some extent, it would really depend upon the wordings of the contract between uh, the buyer and the seller because at the end of the day, it's a contract between two parties. So it would not be possible to generalize that, that who should be paying it or who should not be paying it. It would depend from case to case. Where there is a clear uh, situation that the project was already way behind schedule and uh, this has been further delayed, there could be a case for in the buyer's favor, but where the project was running on the schedule and the delays happened because of uh, this particular uh, reason, uh, then I think the developer may have a case. Uh, so it would really depend upon the contract and the wordings of the contract between the two parties. Uh, Munish, uh, closing comments from you very quickly for our viewers. Can you explain why is an OC important? See, as the name suggests, the occupancy certificate is something which allows the buyer to occupy the premises whether these are the lifts or the fire safety measures, water disposal, solid waste management, everything is defined within the terms and conditions of OC. So uh, typically for this viewer, they are asking whether he should make the payment or not. I would like to suggest it to all the viewers that till the time OC is there in place or at least till the time they have done the due diligence with the authority that it is likely to be received, they are not liable to make the payment to the builder. All right, Munish Upadhyay and Rohit Rajmodi, thank you so much for joining us to shed light on this very important issue that's troubling buyers in Noida.